Hello everyone, welcome to this training on how to make a living on YouTube with online courses. I am really excited to dive into this with you guys because some people believe that there is a magic button that on your keyboard called make money. <laughs> And if you just find out exactly where that button is, you can click it or tap it and piles of gold just fall into your lap. And while that is not the case, there are definitely some ways you can make money on YouTube, especially with online courses. And I've been doing this for years. What I want to do here is share with you guys some of the things that you need to be doing as a YouTube creator to actually create something that will sell on YouTube. And that will make you a lot more money on YouTube than just AdSense and brand deals and passive advertising revenue streams and things like that. So I'm going to dive into my exact breakdown of my business and what this looks like that's led to me being able to have a team today of 10 people who, who work for me and together we're all serving people like yourself YouTube creators to really help them have the best reach the best impact as possible to reach more people and change their lives and to do that you need to make money and online courses are a great way to get started with that. that's how I got started and in fact after a few months of doing it I was making this back in 2013 I was making about ten thousand dollars a month and with about 3,000 YouTube subscribers. So I wanna tell you guys, how do you do that? The sales part. Now, video creators, I'm gonna share with you guys a screenshot of my Thinkific, which is a um, platform, which is the, the platform I use to host all my online courses. A lot of our sales goes through Thinkific, both in terms of, of client work that we do. We kind of use it as like a portal for our clients and giving them access to things as well as um, people who are just going through maybe a traditional online course. This is a screenshot from my Thinkific dashboard in May. So last month in May, you can see just on Thinkific alone, we generated almost $100,000. As you can see, it was like, you know, $100,000 a month is possible. I'm gonna give you guys a few fundamental things that you really need to know, some key takeaways as you go, as we go through this training together. And the first one is you have to set an expectation of sales with your audience. You know, if, you, if people are like, hey, why are you trying to sell to us? Like we're used to pulling out our wallet with that guy, but we've never had to pull out our wallet with you, Tim. Like why are you trying to sell to us all of a sudden? That's a problem. So there's a few things that you need to have lined up in order for you to actually sell this thing. In order to grow your YouTube channel and in order to grow sales through your online course, there's two key elements that must be in place and you cannot rush them or overlook them. First thing is you need to know what your value proposition is. That is, what value do you propose to deliver to your audience through your video content? That's the value that that person is going to subscribe for. And it can't be a generic like something like, hey, because I make vlogs. Well, yeah, you and how many other people are making vlogs? Because the first transaction you're making people to make actually is to click a thumbnail and get one of your videos. Transaction number two is then, wow, this is good. Let me take it to the next level. I'm going to click the subscribe button and get more videos. Then the next transaction is you also need to know who that value is for. Four, you need to have a very specific target audience. Then once people start consuming that value from you, from you for free on your channel, that then becomes the value that you're now going to sell for like 10X that value in a format people are willing to pay for. My value proposition, I, I break it down to the what and the why. The what is I'm gonna teach you how to master YouTube at Video Creators. Why does that matter? So you can spread a message that reaches people and changes their life. Now, a lot of, no, but for me, that's a belief. So when you tell, it's not just um, about what you're doing, it's also about why you're doing. Because if you just tell people what you're doing, hey, I make gaming videos, hey, I make vlogs, hey, I make cooking videos, it's just gonna, that relationship is gonna stay at a cognitive level. But as soon as you tell them why you do it, now you're starting to get the emotions involved a little bit. And that relationship is going from being just the, like, I understand what you're doing, yeah, you and a thousand other people making vlogs, that's nice. But hey, subscribe to my daily vlogs because we are all about encouraging you young moms to feel that motherhood is worth it. 
or something. I'm just making that up, right? You don't have to go with that, but you get like, now I understand why I should, why I understand what value I'm going to get and what value you're proposing to deliver. And you're shaping it around a why, a belief or a creed of some kind. And the strongest communities online and offline, they don't actually revolve around niches or topics or interests They revolve around shared beliefs. So you really need to have a target audience. My target audience, to give you an example, um, people who are creating video, level number one, Level number two is people who are creating videos for YouTube. And level number three is people who are creating videos for YouTube who tend to have a mission behind what they're doing and what they're all about. So it has to be a specific audience who's getting a specific value from you in every single video because that's the value that you're then going to sell. So I want to give you a quick overview of a video strategy that I would recommend that you take. And there's three buckets of category, like three buckets here. Every single video you make should fall into one of these buckets. The first one I think you should have is you should consider making discoverable content. And the goal of, the, of these videos is to go out and get a new viewer who's never heard of you before and bring them into your channel. In terms of like the customer journey or sales funnel, this is kind of considered like your lead magnet. The second bucket of content is the community bucket. Now these are videos that are not intended to go big. These are just intended to, to grow the no like and trust factors uh, with your existing audience. And these can be a little bit more laid back. These can be a little bit more informal. The main call to action here is engagement. And then comes the sales video. Now the sales video, this is where the goal is to get them off YouTube. Whenever the goal is to end the viewing session, get them off of YouTube, this is this that that becomes a sales video. This these are the nine ways we make money on YouTube. Okay, so let me show you a pie chart breakdown of of uh, where our revenue comes from, and a hundred percent of this revenue comes from our our efforts on YouTube. And you can see how eighty percent of our overall revenue comes from product sales. How do you how does a YouTube creator go from creating all these free videos and content there to now creating content that they're going to try to sell? The key here is is to give away your best material for free on YouTube or email or podcast or whatever, give it away for free because that establishes credibility, it establishes trust, and it allows you to serve people to the best of, of your ability. But the thing that you end up selling that people actually end up buying for then is a process that leads to that target audience's desired result. Um, now, in terms of pricing, let me give you a few tips for this in terms of how to maybe land at a price. Number one is just look at other people are charging for something similar. Study the market and what you're not doing is like, hey, if they're charging that, I need to charge that same price. Num number two, just pick a price. Like that, I just had to kind of like, you know what? If I was going to buy this, I think I'd pay 30 bucks for it. And then three, don't make the price concrete. Like you don't have to commit to the price. I have changed my pricing on things many times. And so what I mean by don't make it concrete is like, I don't give pricing for things, although I did it here for the sake of our example. But when I'm making that sales video, putting on my channel, I don't tell people how much it costs. Now, a few mistakes and pitfalls to face if you that you might face if you're kind of thinking about creating a course for the first time. Number one is assume you know how to sell. Number two, you create a product and you try selling without testing it. Number three, another mistake we talk about this, people try to sell in every video. Number four, when you just kind of like make a product that isn't aligned with the target audience or the value proposition, that says TV, it's supposed to be TA, <laughs> uh, the target audience and the value proposition. Number five, don't sell something you don't actually believe in. Like don't do this just to make money. Now, um, I do have a, one course here on Thinkific that I think is perfectly aligned with this. If you guys want to know exactly how to grow your, your, your channel and your business on YouTube and take it from just a hobby to a career, check that out. But you can also just hang out with us on our Video Creators Podcast. We've got weekly episodes there that will also teach you how to grow your YouTube audience, how you can reach people, change their lives, grow your business, make money through what you're doing. And uh, we've got weekly videos as well at youtube.com slash video creators. Or if you want to reach out to me and my team, email me, tim at videocreators.com. So thank you for all that you're doing to reach people and change their lives. Thank you for letting me be a small part of this. And thinkific as well for helping you deliver that value and blowing people's socks off. So thank you guys for hanging out and I'll see you guys over on the YouTube channel or in a podcast episode. See you there. Bye.